jersey that Michael Jordan used to wear way back in the day. Again, putting up pictures, hopefully, of this jersey. And this one, if 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 they come out with this jersey, oh my God! Again, if I if I had to start a jersey collection, this would definitely be added to it because it's 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 basically the same jersey. It's nothing super crazy about it, but wow, does it look so clean. It looks so clean, so clean, so clean, so clean. Again, it has the number 8 on there with Zach Levine. I think this looks so cool. And I think what makes it so cool is the striping on the side. I think that adding the stripes on the side, the white trimming on the sleeves in the collar, I think those little, 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 little touches really makes this jersey look really dope. Again, I wish I could see the shorts of these. I bet they would look so dope, but could you imagine like Zach Levine and all those guys, Kobe White, wearing these jerseys? These these would be super hard. Um, but yeah, again, so like obviously all these other jerseys, these ones paying respect to the 1980s of Chicago Bull basketball. And I'm not sure if they actually wore these in the 90s or if they ever really came back with this style of jersey before the, the curse of Chicago riding. I'm sure they have at some point, but wow. Wow, wow, wow. They kind of they remind me of like a, a Trailblazer jersey though, so that's maybe like the only thing you can knack about this jersey that it doesn't it doesn't really like look super uh, you know it doesn't di differentiate itself from a lot of other jerseys. But I think as soon as you start seeing that curse of riding, you know it's a Chicago Bulls. And next we are on to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yes, the Cleveland Cavaliers also have one of these jerseys, and these ones are pretty interesting. Now they have made this style of jersey before back in 2015 2016 with the LeBron James era and it is the uh, you know different style of, of patches on the collar and the sleeves the different like red stripe white stripe red stripe white stripe types of, of, of colorway they made them back in 2015 2016 uh, let's see and I think they did it again yeah they did it again in 2005 2004 but those both are paying respect to the 1970s to the 80s of the Cleveland Cavaliers basketball jersey. Now, these ones are a little bit different because it does have uh, that sort of style of trimming. So you look at it and you know that's what they're doing is sort of, again, throwing it back to that sort of different patterning along the collar and in the sleeve. But it's different because the logo on the front is different. Uh, I don't know if that is a classic Cleveland Cavalier logo. Uh, any Cleveland fans out there know if that is a classic style of logo, but I think this looks actually really dope. It's better than <laughs> any jersey that I've seen from them before in the past. I mean, sure, their ones from last year uh, were dope. They were, like, clean. They were cool, but these ones actually have a little bit of design and flair, but not too much of it, you know what I mean? Uh, obviously, you know, sometimes those those patterns on the, on, the, on the sleeve and the neck, sometimes they go a little bit overboard with it, and I think they have before in the past. But I think these ones are actually pretty cool, and I think this is actually pretty clean. Um, again, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that patterning. I would never buy a jersey like that, but I'm sure if you are a fan of Cleveland, I'm sure you would appreciate that this little throwback they're doing. Um, like I said, they do do it. They did do this before, back in 2004, 2005, but I would say they they definitely overdid it. And same thing when they came out again in 2015, 2016, I would hope that they wouldn't go over over the top with this style like they did before. I think just the little trimming on the sleeve and on the on the collar, I think that's like perfect. That's not leave it at that. Up next we have another very popular team. Uh, it are the Dallas, 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 Dallas Mavericks with again the sort of lime green bite bite bright blue jerseys. Yes. Um these ones are kind of cool. I think these are a jersey that sort of were like the 90s style of Dallas Maverick jerseys, sort of like the Jason Kidd era, like very early Jason Kidd era of Dallas Maverick jerseys. And I think I actually kind of like these. Uh, I think the adding of, of the Dallas Maverick like cowboy hat to the jersey really adds a lot of like style to this one. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think it actually makes it look a little bit cooler with a little, little cowboy hat on, on the D lettering of Dallas. Um, again, I could really see like just Luka Doncic wearing this and I'm assuming with the shorts they would have the classic Dallas Mavericks logoing, which I actually showed in my last jersey review video. If you haven't looked at that, make sure you check it out. Um, they have that old Dallas M with the cowboy hat on it. I'm, I'm assuming they'd probably have that on the shorts as well with this green striping going down, but I really like this colorway better because instead of it being a bright sort of blue color and the bright 
it's more of a darkish sort of earthy green and a darkest Dallas Maverick type of blue and that just makes this look so much better I hope if they did do a throwback jersey like 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 the ones I did back in the 90s and the 80s it wouldn't be that lime bright green in that bright bright blue color I hope it'd be you know that traditional Dallas Maverick blue in a, a nice earthy green color where it's not super bright and popping out it makes it look kind of weird and like cartoonish kind of like how they had those older you know like graffiti Matt and Maverick's jerseys those were a joke no offense but next up we have the Miami Heat and um I see what they're doing with this and it's cool but it looks kind of choppy and it and with this Miami jersey you can tell that each lettering of Miami each letter represents a past jersey so you have the M in Miami and that is the jersey I actually showed in my last video where it has like the two stripe of Miami that that dark actually not even dark it's more like a I mean technically it's like a darkish pinkish color and the, the dark orange color stripe I think Shaq and D Wade used to wear this jersey back in like early 2000s and I think maybe even in the late 90s they had this jersey as well um, and then the I is the red hot Miami Heat colorway the A is sort of like that traditional away Miami Heat jersey and then the M in Miami again is the Miami Vice jersey and the I is the uh, I think it's called championship gold jersey colorway they had last year so I get it I get what they're doing and it is a cool idea but again I think it just looks really choppy it kind of reminds me again of like a, a ransom note or something like that someone who would cut out like a magazine like lettering and put it on a note or something like that so they, they, can't, they can't tell your handwriting or anything like that that's what this looks like and it, it definitely I like it a lot because that, what it means is obviously the, the history of Miami Heat basketball and I think that is really cool I love how they you know kept the eye from the red hot Miami Heat LeBron James era they have the era the Miami Vice era they have the new era of the championship gold ones and it's cool but like <laughs> again I just don't think it's anything super crazy if anything I wish they would have added a little bit more style to the collar and the sleeve maybe or maybe something down the side adding a little bit more pizzazz and life to this jersey not just oh we have different lettering for every letter in our name like that's kind of cool but again I think it definitely could be a little bit more which is funny because Miami last year with their Miami Vice, their, their last edition of the Miami Vice jerseys, they went a little, a little, a little, a little, a little bit too far, if you're if you asking my opinion. And up next, of course, it is the Los Angeles Lakers. Yes, of course, it wouldn't have been a jersey review video without the LA Lakers. And with these ones, it kind of looks like they're throwing back to the old, you know, baby blue Laker jerseys, sort of like the Minneapolis day. I'm assuming that's what they're going for, but instead of it all being blue, it's the Laker purple, which I think is kind of cool. You have the purple, but you still have hints of that older jersey with the, the baby blue outlining of the, of the lettering and the jersey number. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, I wish they could have added a little bit of a touch of Laker gold in there. Maybe on the shorts they would have something, or maybe on the back of the jersey they have some sort of a Laker gold on there, which I think obviously when people think of, you know, gold jerseys, they think of the LA Lakers, so maybe that's what I'm sort of looking for to make it pop and click. That would make a lot more sense, maybe. Definitely ones that I'm assuming would, again, be popular fan rage, because again, it is the Lakers, LeBron, Anthony Davis. It is a cool-looking jersey. It just doesn't, in my head, doesn't really connect to the past of LA. Obviously, I get it. It's sort of a throwback to the Minneapolis Lakers that they had last year uh, that are really cool. I love them, but adding in this extra flair, maybe if like the stars, the little baby, little baby stars on the on the numbers, maybe if those were gold, that'd be really cool. Nice little, a little touch, but definitely not the last jerseys. The last, 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 last jerseys we have are the Phoenix Suns, and you could say maybe I saved 
features is the Phoenix lettering. I'm assuming these are a throwback lettering to like the, like when Cedric Zabalos, I think that's how you pronounce his name, won the slam dunk contest. His, the, the Phoenix jersey had this, uh, this, uh, this texture of a, of, a, of a font, which is super dope. I think that's the style that they wore through, like the late 80s up to the early 90s before Charles Barkley got there. So I've changed up a lot of their uh, team jerseys and stuff, but wow, this is super dope. Thank you.